Hello, um, welcome back. I've been doing a few things off camera since the previous video. Um, however, I do not think this is going to be a particularly long video um, because I'm leaving again in three days. I know, sorry, like you guys really didn't get any videos this time around. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, there's not much I can really do realistically in that time frame and finish. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. But for now, let me just quickly recap you on everything I've been doing um, behind the scenes. First things first is I realized I never showed you in the previous video how the relays ended up like being uh, wired in. Even though like I showed on the paper, but I didn't show the end product. So here you can see they're wired in um, as it comes from the bulkhead disconnect into the relay, out of the relay into the headlights and then uh, this is going to be ground i'm using common ground so as you can see you can like wire in two into a single terminal and then just jump it from that terminal over to the next one that saves you a bit of um like just wire complication i guess it just makes it nice and simple don't worry i'm not going to leave them hanging like this there's a bracket that gets bolted um onto this bolt or well fastened onto that bolt just to like hold the relays in place um, the reason i've put them upside down in this orientation is because i realized if they were in this orientation once the grill is in the way it's going to be really hard for me to get to those terminals where with this orientation i can easily access those terminals but uh yeah wiring is virtually done to be honest um, i cleaned up these plugs to the best of my ability and then i also um, pulled some wire uh, or whatever through the hood for those little hood lights. Now, getting the wire all the way through to there was a huge pain in the ass. So um, there's not really any tips other than just start from the bottom, push it through until you get a hole, pull it out of this hole and then go through the holes. Really, it just takes forever. There's no quick way to do it. Um, I also mounted that plate for the brakes mounted the plates for the horns just because I was bored really um, for the interior uh, finished the inlay just need to clean it up a bit also mounted the steering column it's not fastened yet because the um, steering box needs to go in first and be attached to the column before you can fasten all of this up um, haven't done any other insulation work yet maybe we can do that in this video um, I just finished the wiring to the back as well like there it goes all the way um, nice and tidy a little blue one is stuck through for the fuel uh, fuel gauge um, oh and also I mounted the gas cap yeah mounted the gas cap it's gold obviously um, with its little rubber thing I don't know if you can see there but yeah um, that's about it really that's all I've been doing. Oh, here's the little bracket. Yeah, so I just need to find some drill bits so that I can drill a hole, three holes for one for the mount and then two for each relay. Um, oh well, two holes and then one for each relay. Um, but anyways, yeah, I seem to have displaced my drill bits. However, I believe they have been repossessed by someone um, because this is an open warehouse really, like it's being used for storage and I'm not the only person who comes and goes here. And every time I come from overseas, some of my shit is either used or missing. That's why I have this like nice and big trunk. Um, I'm gonna stuff all my shit into the trunk and lock it before I leave now. Um, maybe we'll do a quick time lapse of me just like sorting this out. Um, I think that make up some minutes, but uh, yeah, I'll figure out something to do and uh, stay tuned. Right, so good news, while I was repacking my trunk, um, I found an assortment of drill bits, which I could use to drill out my mounting plates for the relays, and uh, it turned out quite well, actually. Yeah, very neat. 
Okay, so that's all mounted up. The only thing left to do is connect this directly to battery power. And there you go. Very nice. Also, this trunk is huge. Like, I took out those partitions because they were making it difficult to pack stuff. But after taking out the partitions, there's so much space left for other stuff as well. So, quite happy with that. Tomorrow I just need to go buy a lock so that I can lock my trunk. Um, also, off camera, I moved a bunch of the stuff that was here to the rack over there, all those golden bits. So now there's a bunch of space and uh, yeah, that's it for tonight, I think. Um, it's quite late, it's gonna go get some shut eyes, so we'll be back in the morning and see what else there is to do. Cool. Okay, so after yesterday, um, I gave my insulation situation a bit of thought and I realized that this carpet backing that I'm using as insulation um, is going to pose a huge rust risk if I put it in the doors or in the quarters over there because rainwater can get in there and also water like when you wash your car and whatnot and it's meant to flow through and drain out of the bottom, right? But the issue is um, this is going to act as a sponge the moment it comes in contact with water and keep water inside i.e. causing rust. So um, I did some thinking and I realized, you know, this like stuff that they used to like seal your roof with is basically just aluminium foil with some black asphalt on it. Um, don't know what the material is, but it, like whatever, black goo, okay? So budget dynamat, maybe. Um, so I figured I'll give it a quick test on a bit of sheet metal. So just to give you guys a sound test of what sheet metal does. Hopefully you can hear this fine. All right, so hopefully you can hear that, but uh, that is with sheet metal resonating, okay? Now, the body itself won't be that loud, but when it does come into contact with wind and stuff, it starts resonating, okay? So I'm gonna stick some of that on that and give it another sound test, and if it does a good job of dampening that piece of sheet metal, I'm pretty confident it will do a good job of dampening the resonance of my body panels and stuff. So hopefully this works, fingers crossed. Okay, so I've stick some on it and I used like this just to like properly fasten it. So let's do a quick sound test again. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Not only does it take away the resonance, you can hear clearly a decrease in the doing doing <laughs> when you actually like hear it so that's perfect that's so cheap i'm gonna use that and luckily like i was afraid this is gonna have like the that distinct warm asphalt smell you know but um it seems like whatever chemical they're using for this black stuff isn't the same as the stuff that i knew so yeah this is perfect this is great it's gonna like line the inside of the doors with that now and also the quarters and um yeah, cool. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so despite what you just saw in the time lapse, I have not done that door yet. I'm quickly gonna um, give you a sound comparison between the two. So that's without insulation. And that's with insulation. Not sure if you can hear the difference on camera, but um, there's a clear difference between the two. Cool, gonna finish that one and then show you how it looks. Okay, so I'm finished and uh, it turned out great. I did basically the entirety of the insides of the doors. That one's done as well. I did the rears off camera, right? I also did like over there, over here, and then these insides where the quarter window comes in. I don't know how well I can film all of this, but yeah, it goes like down and then 
ends up there two sheets on top of each other so it turned out great um really satisfied with how all of this came out uh, this was uh 225 millimeters by 10 meters and i'm guessing there's about 80 centimeters to a meter left here so yeah i'm um, really happy with how that came out i think that's it for this video as well we should be about out of time right, right around now um, so I think that's it for now as well for a while um, sorry guys again I'm leaving in two days now so um, I don't think I'll be able to get anything else done to squeeze out another video for you so um, hope everyone stays safe during this sickly times and everyone survived the plague um, and yeah I'll see you guys in December I guess have a good one cheers guys